everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a weekly daily setup in my B6 Stology. And to do that we are using the Papillon sticker book by the Happy Planner. Now I have used this sticker book in quite a few setups so far, but part of my goal for this new year is to use my stash, which means I'm going to be using the same sticker books over and over until the stickers are used up. And yeah, so we are going to use this sticker book and we have a lot of pages that I've used already, but then we have, let's see, some box stickers. These are meant for the classic sized Happy Planner but I'm going to use them as the full box stickers in my B6 Stology. And to go along with it, I have washi tape by Simply Gilded. So we have this green washi tape of all sizes. We have the brown washi tape. And then we have pink. So we have these washi tapes to work with. I also have these two butterfly washi tapes. This one I got from Michaels. This one I got from Hobby Lobby. And this grid washi tape I got from Amazon. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these three washi tapes, but I have them off to the side just in case. And with that being said, we are going to jump right into it. So the way I like to set up my Stalogy, let me show you in my current Stalogy. So I like to set up a weekly dashboard. Let me move this out of the way. I like to set up a weekly dashboard, then a day per page. And on the day per page, I use a decorative box, a to-do list, a place to put my meals, and then I write a little bit about the day. I'm going to continue this setup into the new year. So we are going to turn to the page and then we are going to do the weekly dashboard. For the weekly dashboard page, I'm going to use the pink washi tape at the top and bottom. And I need my washi cutter. So I'm going to use the medium size at the top and then the regular size, which I think is the 15 mm one at the bottom. Like that. And I'm also just going to put the washi tape on to the other side too. Let's use, let's use the green. So how are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm setting this up on Saturday, December 31st, New Year's Eve. Setting it up for next week. I'm super excited to start in my new Stalogy. Just because my current Stalogy is so chunky that there's a little, let me show you, there's a hump in it this hump right here, when you're writing on it, it's a little bit difficult to write on this side of the page because of this hump. So I'm excited to get rid of that for now. I do like a chunky Stalogy. It's just nice to be able to put washi tape down on a flat surface. So we have the washi tape down. Then I'm going to use the colorful boxes sticker book by the Happy Planner and I'm going to get a gold box to write in the dates of the week. And we're going to put that right there. And this is for January 2nd through the 8th. And then we need a to-do list, habit trackers, 
meal tracker. For the to-do list, I'm going to just get a notes area from the Papillon sticker book. And I'm trying to decide if I want a long one or just a regular short one. Or if I should save these for the weekly pages. I think I'll save those for the weekly pages and I'll use the long one for this dashboard. I'll use this one. Like that, that's so cute. And then above it, we can put, I wanna put plans, but it's the same color as the sticker almost. So it blends in a little bit too well. So I'll put a to-do sticker instead. This will be my weekly to-do. And then for the habit trackers, I'm actually going to use the Terracotta sticker book by Recollections. There are some habit trackers that are kind of in the same color palette as the Papillon sticker book. So we're going to use these. Let's start with yellow. Pink. Green. like that. And then for the habits that I'm going to track, I'm going to use the Wellness Sticker Book by The Happy Planner. And they have this page of habits in the front that I could use to track my habits. So, let's see. Exercise and hydrate are in my health and wellness planner. So for this one, I'm going to track no spending because I'm doing a no spend challenge starting January 1st. Then we can use reading. and vitamins. Like that. And I think I'm just gonna check three habits. I should mention that the wellness sticker book only comes with one of these sheets but I had another wellness sticker book that I pulled from and they also have this sheet in the brights the old brights sticker book by the happy planner that's where I got these pages from I wish happy planner would come out with a whole sticker book of just clear icons that would be spectacular and then the meal tracker for the meal tracker I'm going to use the menu stickers sticker book by Recollections. This is also an old sticker book that is sold at Michael's. And they have these meal trackers. I've used a lot of them already, but there are two pages of them. And I think this color would match perfectly. So we're gonna put this on the side here. It's a little wide and it'll go into the crease a little bit, but I'm okay with that. And that's how it looks so far. And now we need an area for next week. So for that, I could use these stickers that are bigger. Let's 
let's see what else do we have to work with let's see what's in the sticker book I think what I'm gonna do is put in some washi tape so I'm going to use a brown washi tape as a divider Like that and then I could put either this take a note or this noted one at the bottom I think I like the take a note because it's in the same color palette so we'll put this one here That looks so good. And then we do have a space underneath that I think I'm going to put butterflies. Like that. And then I just need something under here. I could use Papillon. Let's see what other decorative stickers we have. I think I think this is going to be our best bet because I don't know when else I would use these stickers, to be honest. So we're going to just put it here. And it's a bit big, so let's see. Let's get out the tweezers and... It covers up this butterfly a little bit, but I think I'm okay with that. I'm not gonna try to change anything about that. So this page is done. Then we're gonna move on to Monday. For the date covers, I am going to use my go-to sticker book for date covers, which is the Numbers and Days sticker book by Agenda 52, the Paper Studio at Hobby Lobby. And we are going to use these gold ones that I put at the front along with either these small gold numbers or the bigger gold numbers. And I think I'll get away with using the bigger ones. So we're gonna do that. And I think I'm gonna put the numbers first. and then put the day of the week. Like that. That's cute. So I'm gonna do that for all the days. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. I didn't put down washi tape on the rest of the day. So I'm gonna go off, put washi tape down, and I'm going to alternate between these three. The pink, the green, and the brown. At the top and bottom of the page. And then I can put down the date covers. So I put down the washi tape on all of the days. Now we can put down the day covers. So this is the third. So I'm wishing everyone a happy, safe new year. I'm going to be staying inside. We are going to find a good movie to watch and ring in the new year that way. Knowing me, I'll probably be asleep at midnight because I go to bed probably 10 o'clock at the latest. Most times I feel like an old lady because I go to bed early. 10 compared to what most people, what time most people go to sleep is pretty early. 
I'm usually in bed by 9.30, asleep by 10. So I'm going to try my hardest to stay awake, but if I fall asleep, it's no big deal. I could set an alarm to wake up at midnight. We'll see, we'll see. But for now, we're gonna put down the decorative boxes and this is the exciting part. So for this one, it says you are a work in progress. I like that. And now I'm trying to see if I should start here or if I should leave a space. I think I should leave a space. So we'll do a decorative box and then we will do a notes area to put a to-do list. So how about... Oh, these sheets are exactly the same. Okay. We'll use the green, the dark green. And that is the perfect amount of space that I needed. I do need an area to put my dinners each day. I track my dinners here. This is the meal plan, what I plan on having. And then each day I write in what I actually had so, let's see, I have one, two, three here. Oh, I could use these. Four, five. So I'm gonna use these boxes. They have flowers on them, but I think I can get away with using them. So we use this here. And then that's all I need on this day. I'm going to put down these elements on all the pages and then I will come back and put the decorative stickers. For this one, we'll use this one. It says, it's okay to grow slow. And then for the next page, we can use slow progress is still progress. I like these quotes. And then we can use notes areas. For this one, we can use orange. And this one we'll use pink. Oh, dinners. And then we can use, let's use the pink one here and the blue one here. Cute. And then Thursday, Friday. Let's do more decorative boxes. We can use this pretty one down here. Oh, I like this one. It's not about having time, it's about making time. Let's use this one instead. And then this one that I pulled off, we can use here. And then let's do this red one here. And the pink one here. along with the last two 
dinner stickers. Like that. That looks so nice. It'll look nicer once um, I come in at the end of each day and write down what happened that day and my extra to-do list and fill in the pages. It'll look a lot better, but I'm liking it so far. And then we have the last two decorative boxes. So we have these and these. I like this one. Let's do this. It says bold, beautiful, and brave. And then let's do this one here. And let's do this one here. And for these dinner stickers, because I don't have any more of the other ones, we're going to use these. Let's use the blue one here. And let's use this one here like that and then we can put down the decorative stickers so we're going to come back and we could use these and these back here I think for this page, we're gonna use green. Let's see if this one is too big. It's almost perfect. I think it's just the clear part that I have to cut off like that. It would make more sense to me if the butterflies were at the top of the page, but I have an open space at the bottom, so that's where I'm going to put them. We can use this one here. And then, let's see, I'm trying to find one that's the right color, but I don't think we're gonna find one that matches the coloring on this page. So I will just go with, let's do the small yellow one. Just like that. For this page, we can use this one. And this page, we can use a green one. For this one, we have butterflies on the ends of the meal sticker. So let's look at the quotes that we have because I don't want to put another butterfly next to it. Stay true to you. We can use this one here. And I think these are all too big. How about this enjoy every moment? Let's see if this one will fit. It kind of fits. Like that, that is so cute. That is really, really cute. I like it. I just want something to go at the top here. Not sure what. We do have these washi strips, but how about we just put small butterflies? I know this is really butterfly heavy, but I like them. So we're gonna use this one. Let's start, let's go in order. So let's start with Monday. I was getting confused about which days I put them on. So let's start with Monday, and we will just use the little ones. Let's see if there's a little blue one. There is. Like 
like that. That's cute. It's a lot of butterflies. A lot. But I like it. And then Saturday, Sunday. We can use this one here. And this one. We'll put there. And then let's just look at the quotes we have again to see if there's anything else we want to put down on the page. I think this let your dreams blossom is too big. I think I should leave it there. I should probably leave it there because I'm doing a little bit too much. Adding a little bit too much to the page. But you know me. I like to go all out with my stickers and washi tape. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here. Yep, I'm going to leave it here. So let's just do a quick flip through of what we have so far. We have the weekly dashboard page with a to-do list for this week, habit trackers, meal tracker, and then an area for next week. Then we have a day per page. This is Monday with a decorative box, a to-do list, a place to track my meals, and then an area to journal about the day. So this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I want to thank you for hanging out with me and watching this video. And I want to wish you a happy new year. And that is where I'm going to leave you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.